Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn about the triceps. Let's get started. The triceps are the large muscles that sit on the back of the upper arm. Tricep means three heads. Tri meaning three, and sep referencing the Latin word for head. The first of these three heads is the medial head because it sits more to the inside. It originates all along the back of the humerus ending right above the olecranon process of the ulna, or the elbow. The medial head inserts into the elbow by attaching to a large, flat, common tricep tendon that sits on top of the muscle. The lateral head is the second of the three. It originates laterally, or on the outside of the arm, and it also inserts into the common tricep tendon. The third head is called the long head, it originates on the edge of the scapula, just under the socket where the humerus attaches. It inserts with the other two muscles into the tricep tendon. The long head sits on top of the medial head, covering over the upper two-thirds. And here are all the parts of the tricep labeled. The triceps have a relationship to the scapula group. The upper two muscles, the infraspinatus and teres minor, sit on top of the insertions of the tricep. The bottom scapula muscle, the teres major, goes under the tricep to insert on the inside of the arm. But the deltoids will cover up this complex series of connections from the back. From the front, the bicep and brachialis are narrower than the tricep, so the tricep may be visible from the front, making up the silhouette of the arm. The tricep has a similar structure to the calf group muscles, with large rounded bodies on top and thin fingers coming down to grip a wide flat tendon. There's even a similar rhythm, where the inner section is lower than the outer section, creating a downward angle on the inside. Because the triceps anchor to the humerus and scapula, and act on the olecranon process of the ulna. If they contract, it will extend the lower arm or straighten it. Triceps work as a contrasting muscle to the brachialis and bicep. If those muscles contract, they flex the arm, pulling it up. The triceps will contract to pull on the elbow to extend the arm back down. Now let's find the triceps on the surface. Because the arm can rotate in its socket, we need to find the back of the arm to accurately identify the triceps. The olecranon process of the ulna is a clear landmark from the surface that indicates the back of the arm and is the insertion point of the tricep. The top of the tricep emerges from underneath the deltoids, which we can see is a line moving down over the arm here. On the outside, we can clearly see the shape of the lateral head of the tricep, which is thicker on top, with a thin finger moving down. This thicker shape on the inside is the long head, angling over to connect to the scapula. Just below is another rounded shape, indicating the medial head sitting underneath the long head. This wide flat section in the middle is the tricep tendon that connects all three heads to the elbow. And here are the parts labeled. Remember all of these points when drawing the triceps. Analyze the anatomy on the surface of your reference and draw from observation and memory to help you learn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.